Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today doing the what's next on Dimitri Bivol, the undefeated and still reigning light heavyweight champion of the world, following his upset 12 round unanimous decision over Canelo Alvarez, the pound for pound king coming into the fight. Um, you know, excuse me. Not a lot of people saw Bivol pulling off this win. I actually said it could be possible because he's a good fighter. But, you know, not a lot of people gave him a chance and he went in there and he took advantage of his opportunity and, com and, and in my opinion, he convincingly defeated Canelo. I, I had it 116-112, um, eight rounds to four. Some people had it nine to three. Um, the judges scored it seven to five. But either way, he was it was a convincing victory and he retains his light heavyweight title. So now the big question that following the, his career best win is, what's next for Dimitri Bavall following that win? And um, obviously Canelo has a rematch clause. Most people feel that he's gonna take that. I agree. I think Bavall, uh, Canelo's gonna take the rematch, but Canelo wanted a rematch at 168 and Bavall declined it. Bavall said he can't, you know, he doesn't wanna come down there. So. Does that mean Canelo's gonna avoid the rematch? I don't know, I'm leaning towards the no, but just in case Canelo does avoid the rematch, let's take a look at what some of the other options are at, uh, for Bivol heading into the second half of the year. Again, if Canelo doesn't wanna fight him. So you start with number, well, the guy who was number one, the undefeated unified champ, Arthur Betterbia. Well. Better be of his fighting Joe Smith on June 18th. I think he's gonna beat Joe Smith. But if he, if he fights, if he beats Joe Smith and unifies three of the four belts, obviously everybody wants to see an undisputed title fight, but there is a WBO mandatory waiting in Anthony Yard. I think that mandatory is gonna be dealt with before anything. So I don't see the Bival better be a fight happening next. And you know, I, I just, you know, even if it's not the Canelo thing, I think to hold on to the belt and set up undisputed next year, mandatories are going to have to be dealt with first. So I think the win, I think better be it's probably going to fight Anthony Yard in the second half of the year. Next is Joe Smith Jr., the, the reigning WBO champion. He's fighting, which will be a rematch for Bavall, but Joe Smith is fighting better be on June 18th. And if he beats better be and becomes the unified light heavyweight champ, then I think, uh, you know, well, Joe Smith, obviously he'd probably want a rematch, especially at this point against Bivol, but I think there's a, a you know, I, I'm pretty sure Joe Smith is going to be making his mandatory against Anthony Yard as well, like better be of what would if he wins. So basically the winner of that fight is probably going to have to fight Anthony Yard next in a mandatory. Next is former world title challenger Maxime Vlasov. Now, I just don't see uh, two Russians going at it at next. I don't think Bavall, coming off of a win over Canelo, is going to want to fight a guy like Vlasov next. I think it's a step down for him at this point because he scored such a, a big victory. So I don't think Vlasov would make sense for Dimitri Bavall. Number five, Callum Smith. Wouldn't completely rule this fight out simply because Callum Smith is a former WBA champion. He just moved up to 168. He actually knocked out Lenny Castillo, something that Bivol could not do. And uh, they both are with the same promotion with Eddie Hearn. So I really believe that th it, it is a possibility. It's not gonna be his top priority, but I definitely think it's a possibility for the second half of the year for Bivol. Next is Gilberto Ramirez, the undefeated former two-time super middleweight champ. He just defeated Dominic Boazel last weekend did Ramirez and he's a top contender right now. So would Bivol fight Ramirez in the second half of the year if Canelo doesn't fight him? I think it's possible. Does he want to fight him? Probably not, but I think it's possible that Bivol gives Ramirez the shot because Ramirez is an undefeated uh, Mexican fighter on the rise and he might be able to pull in the Mexican fan base again for a showdown with Ramirez if the Canelo fight doesn't happen. So I do think it is possible that they fight, especially if Canelo passes on a rematch and the WBA orders Bivol to fight, then he has to fight him in a mandatory fight. So we'll see. 
Number seven, former champ leader Alvarez. Not seeing this one. Alvarez hasn't done anything since he got knocked out against Joe Smith, so this one doesn't make sense. Next is former world title challenger Anthony Yard. Not seeing this one. Yard is in line to fight the winner of Joe Smith and um, Joe Smith and Arthur Betterbia. So I don't think Yard and Bival can happen next. Marcus Brown, former world title challenger. For Bival, this would be a big step back to fight Marcus Brown following a win over Canelo. Plus, Marcus Brown got knocked out against Better B of last year. Not going to happen. And then Unieski Gonzalez, the former, um, you know, former uh, world title challenger. Not seeing Gonzalez uh, either um, getting the fight, coming off of defeat. So, you know, Bival has has solid options. He pretty much can probably fight whoever he wants now. Um, outside of the better be of Joe Smith winner, but I really believe it's going to be Canelo next. But if it's if it's not Canelo, then um, I'm leaning towards either Callum Smith or Gilberto Ramirez. I think will be his next opponent, or even Joshua Buatzi if Buatzi stops Craig Richards. So I think it's one of those three options. If I had to pick one, I'm probably in terms of who he would want to fight. I'd say Callum Smith. But who he might have to fight might be Gilberto Ramirez because the WBA might mandate that fight. So we'll see what happens. But that's what I got. That's the what's next on the undefeated reigning light heavyweight champion of the world, Demetri Bival, following his convincing unanimous decision victory over Canelo Alvarez. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all, any and all support. And this is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.